Hi, welcome to Work From Home Tips. I'm Jonathan, helping you work better online with more freedom and accountability. Um, I'm, uh, I'm tweaking the way I'm doing this a little bit, trying to make it more efficient. I'm not quite sure if I should keep doing these or not. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, um, and if you find it valuable, please share it with people. If I don't get more than, um, let's say, five likes on this video, I'm not planning to, to keep doing these daily, and I'll switch to longer form content that happens um, less regularly uh, as needed. And if you have any uh, anything you're cha challenged with, please let me know. I have a lot of experience working with distributed teams and self-organization um, and more. So let's get right to it. Today we're talking about Oh, today we're going to do the quote of the day. The quote of the day is, being on Zoom with your camera turned off is like going to work with a paper bag on your head. You wouldn't do that at work, so why would you do it at home? This quote's from Chad Beyer. He's a Madison, um, Madison, Wisconsin Agile consultant, and um, we'll, we actually have some uh, information about an event that he's doing at the end of this. So today I want to talk about calibrating your responses when you're talking online with people. Um, there's something that happens that you might not be used to, which is when you're talking on Slack or something like that, the way that your communication comes across is different. And I'm not talking about, you know, does it land like uh, harsh or uh, are you misunderstood? I'm talking more about people not being clear about what you're actually asking for, what you're communicating. So the first thing to do is to get in your own head, make it clear, are you requesting something? Are you sharing information, just sharing it with no re response required? Or sometimes are you just giving a reaction to somebody else's statement? Um, so talking about requests and shares, um, be really specific, say, hey, I, hey I, um, uh, uh, I'd like to request that you do X, Y, Z, or um, would it make sense to you to do X, Y, Z? Um, that kind of thing. When you make your request, you wanna be very clear in the request and make sure that it's acknowledged. The other trick is to be always be really clear about who you're asking specifically. This is a huge one, and it's maybe less of a problem at the office, but I think still a big problem um, in Holacracy and the self-management work that I do. We're always very clear about who we're asking, and not just who, but in what role are we asking them in. If somebody's performing a couple of different in a couple of different roles implicitly. Um, it's helpful to know, you know, are they working in this role or that role? We're not going to get into that right now because I'm trying to keep these videos short. Um, so always be clear, who are you asking? And never ask a group. Avoid using the word we. We need to decide this or that. Groups don't make decisions. Individuals do. If you think that a group is making a decision, it's a fallacy. You're living in a fantasy. It's not true. Um, individuals make decisions. So ask specifically of a person can you do this or whatever your request is ask specifically of a specific person. And so they have the accountability to do that thing and they have the authority to get it done. Um, this is a huge source of pain in organizations, not being specific and asking, uh, ask make finding out who specifically you're talking to. Uh, and if you can manage it, avoid using the word. We there's a saying in Holacracy, we is a terrible worker we keep thinking we're going to do things and they never get done. That's because we're not being specific. Uh, individuals are accountable. Groups cannot be accountable. They just, it's just, a, it's a, it's a fantasy. Okay. So moving on when you're giving a reaction, um, the distinction between a reaction and a request or, uh, a, a reaction and a share, um, especially if you're in a position of power, if you're uh, a team leader or an executive, People will often take your reactions to mean that they should take some action. So um, you want to be helpful. You know, you want to provide your wisdom and support and recommendations, but you also want to give people the freedom to use their choice and their best judgment so they can learn and grow, right? So be careful about, about having your statements come across as edicts or uh, demands or instructions to follow when you're just giving a reaction. To do that, be real clear. My reaction to that is this, 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 or um, uh, that sounds good. Um, if I were you, I might do it X, Y, Z, but use your best judgment. Reinforce actively that it's just a reaction. Um, and if you're looking for information, sometimes you can ask for a reaction. You can say, does anyone have any reaction to this? 
And then uh, when someone gives a reaction, um, say, you know, thank you. I'm go and don't even, you don't even necessarily have to give any context or framing um, of if you're going to do anything with the reaction or not. And this is also different depending on the culture that you're in, the team culture and the expectations and the norms. Uh, ideally, you want to get to a point where people recognize reactions for reactions and they don't take them personally. They don't take them as uh, demands to do something different. Um, where people are free to share their reactions and then p other, the people that are hearing those reactions are still free to use their judgment. Um, but that's beyond the scope of this video again. The other thing to talk about is acknowledgement, acknowledging uh, requests and acknowledging receipt of requests on, on Slack and other online forms. So something that can happen is, you know, you'll, you'll make a request of somebody and they'll respond and then maybe you just like won't respond to their response and now they're left hanging. They're not knowing, uh, did, did she get it or did, did, did he not get it? Um, you know, am I okay to do this? Am I not okay to do this? And a quick and easy way uh, to, to fix that is just to slap an emoji, um, a, rea a reaction emoji on, uh, on a post. So if, some, if you see that somebody um, responded to something of yours, you can just you put a little okay on it or thumbs up or whatever, anything to acknowledge it. Uh, again, different teams will have different norms around emo emojis they use commonly, and some things mean specific things. Um, so just be really conscious of going that little extra mile to acknowledge people a after they've responded to your messages. Uh, that really helps with the team cohesion. Even though there's no, there's no content in that response, it's just a friendly reminder. Okay, so that wraps it up. Um, what are your challenges that you're facing? I would love to hear them. Please get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me at teal.dog slash chat. That's a chat that goes straight to me. Um, or you can email me at j at teal.dog. And I'm doing free consultations for teams of five and up. Um, the work I do with Holacracy and uh, self-management is completely transformative. And even a little piece of it can really change the way you work. Um, but that talking about that is also beyond the scope of this. And I'm trying to keep it short. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, this Friday morning at 9 a.m. Central, we have uh, a weekly reflection uh, work online hangout. We're going to get together and talk about how this week went uh, with the coronavirus and everything and the challenges we're facing and talk about any victories or, or things we've learned that we can apply in the future. It's a great chance to uh, talk to some other remote workers. This is going to be on uh, Zoom and I'll post the link in the description. So please come down for that on Friday morning, 9 a.m. Central, 7 Pacific, and 10 Eastern. Also, um, this coming Monday, the 6th of April, um, Chad Beyer, uh, the gentleman who gave us that wonderful quote in the beginning, is doing a presentation with um, Jeff Bubbles. There are uh, a couple of wonderful uh, Agile consultants in the Madison area. And um, they're on a great meetup. It's called the Mad City Agility Meetup. They're doing an online talk on effective remote facilitation during a pandemic, moving from fragile to agile. Uh, I love this meetup. This is the first one of the first meetups I came to after I got back in Madison, after living in San Francisco. Um, these guys rock. So please check it out. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. So uh, it's my wish that you're happy and productive and well. Um, and I, uh, I wish you the best. We'll talk to you soon. And again, if you like this video, please drop a like, give me some acknowledgement that it's useful to you. And if it's not, we'll go back to uh, lo uh, longer form videos on a different, different schedule. Okay.